there, crafts and decor friends! Welcome back! Today's video is gonna be fabulous! We're gonna show you how to create your own trendy furniture for your Barbie dolls! They're gonna be super easy to make and they're going to end up looking amazing, so come and join me! Let's get started, guys! First, grab a large bottle of water and use a permanent marker to trace a semicircle in the bottom part. Just like this! Then, we're gonna use our cutter to cut out following the line we traced. Remember to ask a grown-up to help you with this step. It can be pretty tricky. And we're gonna use this part to make Barbie a super cool chair. We're gonna use some wire to make the base of the chair. So, cut a small piece with some pliers. Then, we need to bend the wire like this. These two ends need to be facing upwards. Now bend the ends once again, just like this. Then you can twist the ends of the wire to make sure everything stays in place. We're gonna use this lovely pink furry fabric for the lining of our seat. You just have to wrap it with the fabric and fix everything in place with clear glue. Now we're gonna use a little bit of pale rose acrylic paint for the base of our chair. Let's make a cute cushion for the chair with some of this awesome fabric. We just need to grab this piece of foam that we've cut previously. And with a little bit of clear glue, we're gonna attach the cushion to the seat. Can you imagine having a chair like this one? It would be amazing! And finally, we're gonna attach the seat to the base of the chair. Just like this. Press down with your fingers to make sure the glue is well spread. Look at our chair, guys! Isn't it lovely? Our Barbie definitely looks fabulous sitting on it! For our next piece of furniture, we're gonna need the box in which your Barbie came, stiff cardboard, some foam and a sponge, pink fabrics in different textures, pink thread and a needle, and some toy stuffing. Let's start by spreading some clear glue on this part of the Barbie box. And we're gonna stick on this piece of foam, like so. This is gonna be a super cool bed! So we're gonna use this piece of stiff cardboard to make the headboard. So let's mark the spot where the mattress ends. So what we're gonna do is attach more foam up to the mark we just drew. You can use more than one piece if you need to, just like we did. Then, let's use our cutter to trim off the excess of the foam. Remember to ask for the help of a grown-up, guys. We don't want you to get hurt. We're gonna use this cute polka dotted fabric to make the sheets of our amazing bed. You just need to grab it like this and trim off the excess of fabric. Then, we need to give our headboard a nice lining. We're gonna use this pink felt for that. You just need to use some clear glue to fix everything in place. And to make our headboard look super cute and realistic, we're gonna grab some thread and a needle and we're gonna stick it through the headboard. We've tied a tiny knot on the other end of the thread, so pull it to tighten it up and give the headboard a cool finish. This is what it should look like, guys. Now, we just need to do the same a few more times. Just look at our bed's headboard, guys. It's simply amazing! Now, we need to attach it to the bed using a little bit of clear glue. Like this. And with this lovely furry fabric, we're gonna make a super cute pillow. You just need to fold the fabric like this and glue on the edges, but leave a gap open to stuff it later on. Once the glue is dry, we're gonna turn it inside out and we're gonna stuff it. Now, we just need to set the pillow and Barbie can lay on her bed to chill out for a while. How neat! Let's make another cool accessory for Barbie. We're gonna need a plastic container like this one. Some pink ribbon. Acrylic paints. And a pink nail polish. We're gonna make Barbie a super cute transparent tote bag. So, let's start by cutting out the bottom part of our plastic container. Be careful! Then, we need to mark two tiny dots on each of the sides of the bag. 
so we gonna touch the handles. Next, you need to poke some tiny holes following the dots we marked. Ask for help guys, this step can be pretty tricky. Look, this is what it should look like. Now, we just need to grab two small pieces of this cute ribbon. Tie two tiny knots on each of the ends and slip them through the holes, like this. Wow, our tote bag looks amazing, guys. It's time to decorate it. We're gonna add a cute polka dot pattern with the tip of our modeling tool and some baby blue acrylic paint. Just look at how lovely it is! But let's keep adding more cute dots with some baby pink acrylic paint. And for the final touch, we're gonna use a little bit of hot pink acrylic paint. Our tote bag is ready! Wow, it is simply fabulous! And you can fit so much stuff in there too! How neat! Let's move on to our next piece of furniture. We're gonna need another plastic container, a bendy straw, glitter foam in different colors, some of these cute plastic pearls, two plastic beds, and metallic silver paint. Let's make a super cute sink for Barbie's house. We're going to cut out the rectangles, 16 by 11 centimeters each, two more rectangles, 8 by 16 centimeters each, and finally, two even smaller rectangles, 8 by 11 centimeters each. Then, we need to cut them out with our cutter. Be ultra careful, friends! Now, we just need to assemble our sink using a little bit of clear glue. Put the pieces together so they form a cute box shape. This is what it should look like. And since we made it out of stiff cardboard, it's gonna be super resistant. Now, let's decorate it using some of this cute white glitter foam. It's gonna look amazing! Look, friends! Our sink now has a super cool pearly finish! I love it! Next, we're gonna grab our plastic container and we're gonna trace a line on the top part. Just like this, friends. Try to go as straight as possible. Next, ask a grown-up to cut it out following the line we traced. We've removed the cap from the top part of the bottle. And now, we're gonna trace the shape of the mouth on the top part of our sink. And we're gonna cut it out. This sink is gonna be super trendy. Just wait till you see it. And we're gonna use these cute baby blue rectangles for the drawers. So let's attach them. And these cute plastic pearls are gonna be the knobs of our drawers. It's beginning to look pretty sweet, don't you think? Next, grab the pen this straw and cut it like this. This is gonna be the top, guys. First, add a coat of gray acrylic paint. And once it's dry, let's apply another coat of metallic silver paint to make it look super cute and shiny. Now we can assemble our sink. We need to attach everything using a little bit of clear glue. And using two more pieces of straw, we're gonna make the knobs. Let's attach them like this. Let's make it look super cute by attaching these two beds. Perfect, guys! And here we have it, friends! This is going to be the perfect sink for Barbie's dream house! It's time to make the last awesome piece of furniture. We're gonna need some of this pink fabric, some fuchsia acrylic paint, and a sponge. Let's start by cutting some pieces of stiff cardboard with the following measures. Four rectangles have to be 24 by 8 centimeters. Then, three other ones 12 by 8 centimeters. One piece must be 9 by 12 centimeters. And the last one, 9 by 8 centimeters. Let's cut them out, guys. But remember to be extra careful or ask for the help of a grown-up. We're gonna make a super cute sofa, guys. So let's assemble it like this. And this is what it should look like. Like a small box with two compartments. Then we need to give it some color. Let's use some of the fuchsia acrylic paint for this. 
We're gonna make our sofa extra comfy by attaching these sponges to these pieces of stiff cardboard. How neat! Once they look like this, we're gonna line them using our super cute pink fabric. And we're gonna use the same fabric to line the outside of our sofa. I love this satin finish, guys! It's gonna look fabulous! And here we have the cushions for our sofa. With a few stitches like these ones, we're gonna make them look super realistic. Wow, they look amazing! Now, we just need to attach the smaller cushions to the larger one. Our sofa is ready, guys! You can decorate it with some cute pillows like these ones we've made. And the best part is that you can store as your pillows inside the sofa. How sweet is that? Now Barbie can get super comfy and relax for a while. That was it for today, guys. Here we have the amazing pieces of furniture we made for Barbie. There's the furry chair. Then the super comfy bed. The neat sofa. The sink. And Barbie's tote bag as a bonus. Let us know in the comments below if you love them as much as I did. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the bell and that we love you so much. Bye-bye.